Hello Capricorn, uh, my name is Agatha and this is the tarot reading for January 2018. This is a very general reading. If you like a private consultation, please write to duniazad at gmail.com and I'd be delighted to work with you. This month I'm going to use the, for you the Gendrum Tarot. So let's see how the month of January 2018 is going to be for you Capricorn. So let's cut. One, two, and three. So, beginning of the month, you have the moon, major arcane, arcane card. Middle of the month, you have the four of wands. At the end of the month, you have the princess of cups. So, a very intuitive sort of month. If I read these three cards together as a soul energy, there might be some secret Capricorn that comes to light regarding a member of your family, a young member of your family. Maybe he or she has some sort of addiction. Or maybe he or she is ill. I hope not. I'm thinking it's more like a girl. Or uh, a secret comes to light regarding your spouse that will affect the, the, the young, uh, your children. It could be that. No, but, but um, let's start. Capricorn with the moon, with the card moon in the beginning of the month. Again, it could be that secret that comes to light, something which is revealed. Now, something maybe that you have hidden and it's revealed, uh, or something which was kept hidden from you, which is revealed, is revealed that might affect your uh, marriage or your family. You know, uh, this could also be being very intuitive. You know, just being really intuitive, really, really intuitive in the beginning of January 2018, just, you know, figuring, figuring things out without actually having facts or having very vivid sort of dreams. You know, information might come to you uh, through your dreams. So I would advise you to have some sort of notebook near, near your bed so you can uh, wrote so you can write down all the dreams that you have and then at the end of the month reread the, that that notebook that diary because you'll see there's information there because your subconscious is aware of that information is trying to bring it to your awareness and if you do that if you write your dreams you'll you'll figure out what is that information which was hidden um it could also be that uh some of you uh, natives of Capricorn, this could be Sun, Moon, or Rising, are feeling like very emotionally unstable. There's like ups and downs, ups and downs. So there's some sort of emotional instability. Maybe you're like giving in to your fears, you know, to your paranoias, even, you know, it could be that as well. Another way of reading this card, the moon is connected with women, with enemies. Someone is lying to you, someone is could be cheating, but not necessarily. Someone is telling you one thing and the truth is another. Someone <clears throat> is pretending to be your friend. <clears throat> I'm sorry. And then turns out this person is not truly your friend. So you have to be careful with that too. There's many ways of reading this card. In the middle of the month, you have the Four of Wands. So it could be for some, like happy times uh, with, in, uh, within your uh, home with your with your domestic partner, with your spouse, with your husband, wife, with your long-term partner. Everything is fine within the household, within your marriage. You're feeling safe there. And that's like a way for some of you to uh, get away from this sort of emotional instability. Maybe your fears are unfounded. Now, another way of reading this, like I said, is that, that you might find out, you might have like... An intuition in the beginning of the month of something is exactly not right, not quite right. In the, in the middle of the month, a secret comes to light regarding your spouse, your partner, someone in your family. You thought everything was great and maybe it's not. Maybe your spouse was keeping a secret from you. Now, this could be all sorts of things. Maybe he or she is kind of ill and maybe that's the type of secret that they're keeping from you because they didn't want to worry you. It could be all sorts of things, okay? Uh, and then at the end of the month, you have the Princess of Cups. So if the secret comes to light. Now, this could affect if you have kids. It could affect a young member of your 
family, your child, your grandkid. Uh, showed up as a princess, could be a girl. Uh, could be from a, a young child from a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, uh, or uh, Scorpio. So whatever this instability within the household, within the domestic scene, might affect, affect your kids. This secret that comes to light might affect your kids, you like they're, because they're very sensi sensitive to the home environment and they pick up everything even if you try to hide it from them, especially this kid. This kid is very intuitive. Another way of reading this card, this card uh, uh, could be an energy card, like the energy uh, that it talks about is an energy of forgiveness. So if there's some sort of secret that comes to light connected with your spouse, with your you know, long-term partner, you just decide to forgive. Okay? Or this could be the beginning of healing. Maybe the secret that was, or the, the thing which was hidden was some sort of illness, you know, and none of you had, knew about it. And you go to the doctor, your spouse goes to the doctor, and they found that, find out something, uh, some sort of illness which was hidden. Um, and then at, at the end of the month, you decide to start taking care of this illness. There's like a, the beginning of treatment. It could be that either for you, for someone in your family. Okay? could even be your kid. Uh, so, <clears throat> not exactly an easy month where things get better at the end of the month. Okay? So that's it, uh, Capricorn. This is the reading that I have for you for January 2018, and I do hope you have a great month. Bye-bye.